calibration for both uh, gas and volume for the MedTraffix uh, metabolic cart. First thing you're going to do is turn the cart on by flipping the switch on. Um, there is an indicator light on the front of the MedTraffix unit that uh, tells you that it's warmed up. After you flip it on, it's going to take about 30 minutes for this light to turn from red to green. Once it's green, you know you're ready to start calibration. And okay, to calibrate, you want to go to the Breeze uh, software on the computer. This is the software for uh, testing on this computer and the system. There's no password, so just click OK. You will see a um, dual monitor set up. This is for the EKG. This is for uh, uh, metabolic data. For calibration, the first thing you want to do is hit this VAC button. It may be over here, it might be right here. This uh, this changes set up every once in a while. So hit VAC, that's gonna warm up for two minutes. There's a counter here. And while that's warming up, we can still calibrate the volume. So to do that, we click on calibrate here. That just takes us a quick second. Don't ever hit the reset button. And then we're gonna click start. You don't have to follow those dotted lines, uh, they're just kind of a guideline for you. A lot of times when you first turn the computer on, you will fail calibration, or the flow meter calibration. That's just, uh, it's just uh, getting used to the three liters of air being pushed and pulled through the flow meter. This one looks like it's going to pass. Doesn't matter if you start with the fast ones or start with the slow ones, as long as you do a varied rate of injections and uh, withdrawals. And here you can see green notification calibration successful. Uh, make sure all of these are still the same and then click OK. And that is how you do flow meter calibration. Right after you finish flow meter calibration, you want to do gas calibration. And in order to do that, you need to turn the tanks on. It takes, uh, you don't need to open the tanks very much. And don't mess with these black knobs. Those are pressure knobs. Don't, don't twist those at all. Uh, you just need to open the tank. Just go uh, the opposite way of close here. And a couple turns how to do it. And then you come back to the program. And you, uh, well, first thing you need to do is take uh, your umbilicus and plug it back into this home port. The, the bump that we referred to earlier goes to the left, and you just press it back into the system. And then you go back to the software. As you can see, the back is ready. It's been warmed up for two minutes. And to do gas calibration, you just hit this gas auto cal button right next to the vac button. And it does everything on its own. It also calibrates delay. Uh, which is something in some metabolic carts you need to calibrate separately. So we're going to do gas and delay calibration in one step here. And if you see that everything's white, no red marks, uh, no thing that says calibration failed on the top, you're fine. If you do see that, click retry, do it again. Uh, there might have been some residual gas in the line that caused it to fail, but we're good on this one, so just click OK. And then we've, uh, we've done... Uh, volume calibration and gas calibration, and that takes uh, care of calibration for the med graphics card.